Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seriously Baking. Yes, I'm doing this again because you all seem to like it so much last time. So, this time I have a different special guest. Hey. James! How you doing, buddy? Good. You, you excited? I am excited. Yes. So what are we making today? We are going to make vegan butterbeer cupcakes. Vegan because, uh, you know, this one can't handle his milk. Well, you can't handle your chocolate, and I wanted to make chocolate cupcakes. Yes, well, then I would die. We all have to make sacrifices, then, because I would also die. We would. So, butterbeer cupcakes was the compromise. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Don't you, James? I think they'll so, be good. Hopefully, this will turn out well. We'll see. If you'll notice, there is no Lily here this time. So, yeah. it's just me and James, who have no experience whatsoever, besides that one time. Uh, making things the muggle way. But I'd like to think that I learned a thing or two from my time with Lily. So I'm the expert here, James. You have to listen to me. Hopefully. I think we can do it. Have faith. Believe in us. We've pulled off pranks harder than baking, right? Okay, yeah. We'll see how it goes. So this is what you're gonna need. One third cup almond milk. Not milk. Technically, it is nut milk, yes. Are you scared of this milk, James? It's not gonna I hurt I you. Can, I can eat it's not gonna hurt you, I promise. <laughs> nut milk. I can eat the nut milk. <laughs> One third cup of cream soda. Creamy. Very creamy. Half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Very apple y. Where does the vinegar come from? Do apples make from vinegar? The apples. From the apple. Yes. Apples make vinegar. Yes. You don't know that, you're just saying yes to sound smart, James. Why are you questioning me? Because you don't- you don't know. I do know that. Oh, okay. I didn't realize James was an apple expert. Hmm? When are you opening up your apple grove? <laughs> Can I come? <laughs> <laughs> Two-third cup of butterscotch. This is an ominous looking bottle. It's definitely butterscotch. Yeah. Totally butterscotch. One third cup Crisco oil. Canola oil. It says Crisco. Canola. That is that is that is the brand. Crisco that is the oil. brand. <laughs> I I think Crisco sounds cooler. Okay. So. Crisco oil. One tablespoon vanilla. It does not taste like vanilla. I remember that from last time. Lily? Lily made me drink this. She did. Why would she tell you to drink this? I don't know, because she hates me, I think. Or she just likes to see me suffer. I it doesn't mean... taste like vanilla. No, it does not taste like vanilla. Don't don't drink this. I won't make the same mistake twice, probably. I'll make sure he doesn't make the same mistake twice. We're not drinking this. <laughs> one and one third cups of flour. This is a lot of flour, Jim. I don't think we need... We don't need all, all of this. this. Feels like a child. Holding a child now. Yeah, it's like, you know, that experiment you do when you have to raise the flower baby. This is your baby. I never had to do that. Is that something Lily had to do? Yes. That sounds terrifying. It was weird from I'm what she told me. I'm not old enough to be a, a father. A baby's this heavy? I definitely don't want one though. Don't want it. <laughs> one teaspoon baking powder. The magic powder from last time. I remember. Mm hmm James, this is what makes it into cakes. This stuff. Just this? It just poof? Yes, poof. You throw it in and poof. You put, well, you put it in the oven. And then it activates So the oven it. is the magic. No, this is the magic. And then the oven is just the activation for it. Listen, I learned this all from Lily last time. Okay? This is it. Alright, well, I trust Lily, so... Yeah, see, so she wouldn't lie. Magic powder. <laughs> One half teaspoon baking soda. Which, I learned, is actually a thing. Didn't believe Lily last time, but turns out it exists. What do you know? Good thing you got it. But I don't know what it is. It sounds like it's not soda. Sand. It's not soda. We had soda earlier. This is just a box. Oh, it's leaking. Well, we're just gonna put that down. <laughs> I think we made it mad. Backing away now. <laughs> That's the bad magic. Bad magic. I don't trust it. <laughs> well, at least we only need like one half of it. So. Yes, I'm just. Keep it over there. Yeah. Alright, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Mm-hmm. A little salty, are you, James? We're both salty. 
yeah? That's okay. Fancy salt. It's pink. Why do you have pink salt? This what makes it pink? That's just what the store had. This isn't pink. What? They're lying to you, James. They're lying. Something I just bought this. what the store had. Does it turn pink later? Like in the in the bowl? Oh, maybe. I think you're right. Oh, that's cool then. This is also magic. This is also magic. Oh, I, mean, I get it. I get it. I can't wait to see it change colors. That'll be, that really, would be fun. really fun. Yeah. Baking it's fun. Baking it's fun. <laughs> and last but not least, we'll need a bowl and a tin. You put all your cupcakes so they are shaped like cupcakes. After it goes in here. And After they go in And then they go in there. No, you don't. This goes last. Don't Big put this in the oven. I think it will melt. I think I think that's true. This won't melt though, because it's made out of metal or something. I don't know. But I know it keeps the cupcake safe in the oven. So we will do this. Then you have all you need. First, adding the milk. One third cup. Come on, Jim. So half. Half. Half of this? Yes, half of that. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. You throw wow, that. We're good at this. We, I'm I'm impressed already. Look, put it in the bowl. No issues. Amazing. Take that, Lily. You thought we messed it up? Look, milk in the bowl. I call that a we success. We got one step down. One step down. <laughs> How many more to go? I don't know. A, a lot. lot. <laughs> but we're doing pretty good so far. Next, we add the apple cider vinegar, which. <laughs> yeah, do not. I told you it's not apple juice. <laughs> That smells like something died. Mm. All right, we're gonna add that. The to apples died. Why do so many muggle baking things smell and taste horrible? And then we're supposed to put them in in, in the thing we're gonna eat. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, I guess we're just going it's forward. It's a little concerning. All right. Go. Oh. 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 Yep, we're good. A little, little too much. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> we did it. Definitely not drinking that. Don't drink that. And then you have to whisk it together. We don't have a whisk, but we have a spoon fork thing. So hopefully that will work. You just kind of do that. Mm. It smells horrible. I hate that. Oh, bubbly. Uh, oh well. well, that's what the instructions say, so who am I to say what's weird? And then we should be good. I trust the muggle lady who made this, kind of. I don't know who she is. Who is she? Um, her name is... Wendelina. I don't trust her. What kind of name what is that? What kind of name is Wendelina? I don't trust her. She sounds like a witch. She sounds like- you know what? She sounds like a witch, which might mean that this is actually a magical recipe. It might be in good hands, James. She sounds like an evil witch. Thank you, Wendelina. It's kind of a cool name if you think about Wendelina. Now you get a separate bowl, and we're adding the flour. So, scooping the flour now. Ugh. One yeah. cup, and then we need a one third cup, which is half of this. Which is half of this, because James bought really weird measuring. That's tools. all they had. It's so confusing. It's very confusing. I don't get it. All right, we're going in. There we uh -huh. go. Ah, flour has been added. Voila! Look at us go. <laughs> We're doing muggle things. We're doing muggle things without Lily's help. Yeah. Look at us. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> we'll have to give her one of our cupcakes and see what she thinks. If they actually work. Not if they don't work. If they don't work, we're this not getting never these, we're not talking about this. So then we have one teaspoon tis, tis pin, tis pin. teaspoon of the magic baking powder that I was talking about. Can you grab the bowl, James? Yeah. So one little, one little thing of it. Oh no, it's being very messy. I'm um, sorry, James, about your like kitchen. No. I hope your parents don't kill us. All right, there we go. Yeah, it does kind of look like snow. Maybe that's the magic behind it. Bah. Wow. Amazing. Look at that. Ignore that it got on the floor. And and me. It's fine. Don't don't smell that, James. Uh, no, James. I don't know. This is the magic ingredient. So you're licking it. But I don't know what will happen. I'm just gonna put a lid on it. I have to be Lily for this video. So after fighting with this thing for about 10 minutes, we finally got the baking soda open. Um, how many wizards does it take to open a baking soda box? Apparently more than two because 
We didn't, we didn't even, even do, do it right. We didn't even do it right. We just we just ripped it open from the top. So um, it works, doesn't it? Who cares if we're doing it right or not? Anyway, you need about half a teaspoon of this stuff, and you're just gonna throw it in there, right? One, yep. two, three. There we go. You got it all over the floor. I did. Is your mom gonna be mad? Hopefully not. Be fine. She loves me. Maybe more than she loves you. I'm the favorite you, child. You're probably right. <laughs> it's okay, James. Hi. Last of the dry ingredients, we have the magic color changing salt. The pink salt, which I assume will turn pink the second we put it in there, right? Yes. That makes sense. All right. You need one fourth teaspoon. It's so little, but we will, we will try. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Throw it in. And voila. It's still not pink. It's just white. It's Everything else we've thrown in here. <laughs> Do you think she's trying to trick us? Whatever her name I was. I think these are all the same ingredient. I don't know what the difference is supposed to be. They all look like snow. Wendelina, are you lying to us? Are you trying to get us to put a bunch of different powders in a bowl in the hope it'll turn into cupcakes? We get all excited. Mm. This doesn't work, Wendelina. Mm. Finding you. I will. So then, you want to stir together all your dry ingredients. Get all that same looking snow mixed up so you definitely can't tell the snow apart from, from the, the other, other snow. snow until wow look at that more snow there we go. now on to the wet ingredients we're going to be adding oh it's bubbling we're going to be adding the cream soda to the milk mixture that we did earlier all right all mm -hmm. right half of this so one third cup. One. Oh no! I'm okay, spilling it. Spilling it. Spilling it. Spilling it. Spilling it. Spilling it. That should be good. I Is hope. that enough? There's bubbles. There's though, bubbles. So we gotta. We, gotta wait. we have to wait. There is. That's good. Why would you do good. that and not let me have some? Of course, I was gonna let you have some. <laughs> that is good. Maybe we just ditch this whole cupcake idea. Drink this. Just drink this. Bottoms up, James. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. The devil's extract, as I like to call it. Yeah, it killed me last video. Yeah, don't, don't, don't drink I'm this. I'm not drinking it this time. There we go. There we go. Now it looks like an egg. Gross. It smells very bad. All right. Next, we have the butterscotch syrup that we will be adding. Weird milkshake for you. Yeah, so it's two thirds cups. Two thirds. A lot. A lot of this a is going to in. Alright, here we go. Hold up, James. Blue. Ooh, look at that. You're putting it in there. Putting it in the bowl. Whoosh! Liquid. Why you gotta say it like that, serious? Well, it's jiggling, James. What else am I supposed to say besides jiggle, jiggle? Come on. And for our final wet ingredient, we have one third cup of the Crisco oil. Yes. So hold it up, James. We're gonna pour. Ew, look at my pouring skills. Amazing. Alright, that's good. It's always good at potions. If you think about it, oh James. Oh my god, this is like a This potion. is like a potion! I don't know why that didn't occur to me first. Wow. It's making a lot more sense now. You always have to put some nonsense ingredients like back swings and toad gills and the, all the other potions to make it work. So I guess this is just going Now we just gotta mix that because that looks pretty gross. Yes, we have to mix it up. I'm mixing it all together. There we go. Lightning speed. Now we're gonna combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients that we have. So here we go. Pour it in. Mmm, lumpy. Lumpy. Ooh, that is a noise. Don't like that. Beautiful. And then, we mix it all together. Do the mixing, James. Go, 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 go. Look at him go. He's mixing it. All mixed together. Look at that. Yeah, it doesn't Not look good. Mm -mm. It looks like something. Right, James? It looks like we made something. Like we've accomplished it's no longer snow. I hope so. I just hope it tastes good. I hope it tastes good. 
No, don't. I wouldn't. Probably try not it at now. this stage. Mm. Maybe after. Maybe I don't know. maybe after. Looks um. Let's continue. Chunky. Chunky. So the next step is to add your vomit mixture to these little cups. The cupcake mixture. The cupcake. Well, yes. That, if that's what we're calling it, uh, you add it to here into these little cups and then these little vessels, and you put them in the oven and they bake. And they're all safe. So, we'll give that a shot. All right, go for it, James. Fill them up. Would you look at that scooping skill? Wow, very impressive. This is like pure talent. It's amazing. Now we have them all filled, and we're ready to send them off to the oven in the sky. Into the magical destination. Magical destination Call where they will the turn oven. from vomit into cupcakes. Hopefully. Into good tasting cupcakes. Good tasting cupcakes. Hopefully. Hopefully. Sending off our children to school. In the oven too. Oh, that's all. Alright. We'll see you soon, sweethearts. We'll see them soon. It's always hard to see them leave the nest. So while we're waiting for our cake to bake, we are going to attempt to make frosting for the cupcake. Also butterbeer flavored. That should be interesting. There's gonna be really butterbeer flavored. Really, really butterbeer flavored. We flavor really like butterbeer. Yeah, so we'll go into how to make that in a second. First, you'll need half a cup of butter. In this case, uh, dairy-free butter for James. Poor lad. All right, now we have one fourth cup of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And this one's dairy free as well. Yeah, amazing. I, how do they make it? it's cream cheese? How do they make dairy free cream cheese? I, I don't know. Magic. That sounds magic, like magic, magic. magic. There has to be magic. It's be. There's no other way. No other way. Half a cup of the butterscotch syrup, which looks even more suspicious than it did before. Four to five cups of powdered sugar. Good catch, James. This is why he's a Jason. This exactly. thing also feels like the weight of a child. But this is a smaller child. Though. A smaller child. The other one was a bigger child. This is a smaller child. It feels nice to punch. Look at this. Imagine this is Snape's face. That does better. It's better. We can punch Snape. We're not punching children. No, I would. I wasn't gonna punch. Just a little splash. A little splash. What is a splash? What are they doing? There we go. I saw my left flash before my eyes. <laughs> that is what they meant by a splash. Oh, so we just holy Shake and it shoot it at, at the ball. I like that. These muggles are fun. And that is all you'll need to make the frosting. Now we're going to combine everything together and see if we can successfully make frosting for our cupcakes. All right, so now we have our half a cup half of water. Cup of water. Dump that in. Go, James. It's um, it's not going. That's a little hot. Oh, okay. James is getting out all his aggression <laughs> on the butter. Now we have to take our butterscotch syrup again, again, and add it to the butter. Butterscotch syrup, and butter. An interesting combination. Half a cup of the sludge. There we go. There we go. Next, we need to take one fourth cup of cream cheese and dump it in with everything else that's in there. So I think I'm just gonna do scoop a scoop. And there we go, see? So now we have the cream cheese in there along with everything else. This now we need a splash. a splash of cream soap. We wanna do it right, so. Yes. Was, that was a splash. splash. I think it's a splash. I think it's a splash. I mean, <laughs> that looks good to me. Now we need to add four to five cups of powdered sugar. I think you just keep adding it until it looks like what it's supposed to look like. So we'll give until it a shot. Until it looks like frosting. Until it looks like frosting. So here we go, James. Load her up. Put it over the bowl. I'm putting it over the bowl. Dump that in there. Alright, All right, so we're gonna throw all of this in here, and then we're gonna mix, it. We're gonna mix it, and hopefully it looks like um, frosting, and not like poop covered snow. Mixing time, mixing time, mixing, mixing, mixing time, mixing time. 
you want me to help? Seriously. I'm exhausted. I can't go. Oh gosh, you're so dramatic. Oh. You see what I can deal with? Remember me fondly, Jake. My arm might fall off. Good thing I don't play footage. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Remus, come and get your man. It's gone. Remus doesn't want any part of this. I know. I want to get him in a video to bake with me one day, but he probably doesn't want to. Not when you're acting like that. Well, you know, how I act around you and how I act around Remus, those are two different things. Yeah, I know, you're a mess around him. I am. Probably a lot more um, flirting than actual baking. There would be no baking involved. There would be no baking involved. Okay. It's a lot of smooching. There's only slightly less smooching when it's me and James. <laughs> so our children are back from school. They're done cooking. So we're going to take them out of the oven and hopefully they look like cupcakes and not throw up pies. Here we go. Ooh, it is hot. Oh yeah. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? They actually look like cupcakes. Alright, so the icing is done and the cupcakes are done. And now the only thing left to do is combine the two of them together, together. into a cupcake. Right? Yes. Alright. Exciting. Will you do the honors, James? Are we pouring them? No, oh. no, we're not. <laughs> James is a little, <laughs> a little excited. We're gonna dollop, dollop. Look at these two. They, oh, oh. Stay. He's very excited. Right. Maybe they are magical. They came to life. They may have come to life. I thought that about you. Too. Yeah, just put a little dollop. A little there drizzle. There we go. Ooh, yes. Mm, drizzle. It looks actually pretty good. James, shall we? You're gonna go first. Oh, I'm going first. I'm the sacrificial lamb, as always. All right. Here. Messy. We. Very, very messy. Here. We. There. Not bad? Not bad. All right. Mm. 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 Not bad at all. Pretty good. Look at us. We did it. We made cupcakes. Look at that, Lily. We made cupcakes. Yes. Be proud of us. Be proud of us. All of you, be proud of us. Look at us. We accomplished. We accomplished something. And that is all for this episode of Seriously Baking. I like to think we did a pretty good job. I think we did a good job. And these are really good. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna clear off the whole tray of them back there. Just the two of us. We gotta leave some for- Well, we have to give one to Lily. One to, to Lily prove that to we prove. did it. And then I guess one for me, this because I love it. And one for Peter. And one for Peter. Yeah, he can have one too. But the rest- They're all ours. They're, they're all only ours. getting one. <laughs> they're only getting one. Come on, we put in all the hard work, we get the rewards. This was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I'm exhausted. I don't know how muggles do it. Anyway, we will see you all next time. See you later.